Hey, it's Transcorps Lane 6 here. It's another video, and we'll be discussing a new figure that was shown by King Arts. This time, we're going to be talking about the uh, Ant Man Yellow Jacket figure. So, this was a figure that they did show uh, just kind of at their store or at some sort of event that had uh, a lot of their stuff on display. They showed Yellow Jacket as well as Ant Man, and uh, I really liked it. I, I have to say, it looked quite cool, uh, but also with my past experience with like, you know, Hot Toys doing the exact same thing and never releasing it, I wasn't 100% sure if this would ever actually get released and it has all the official images have come out of this as well as it is on pre-order which is very exciting uh, so let me talk about it this video is just gonna be about a yellow jacket uh, I don't think I'm gonna make a video talking about Ant-Man or anything just real quick right now I will say that the Ant-Man looks quite nice uh, I like it a lot it's a shame it doesn't come with a Paul Rudd head sculpt however this company is not a head sculpt focused company 90% uh, of their figures are only helmeted uh, uh, figures so they don't need a head sculpt. Um, looks like a solid figure though. Uh, my only issue, especially with Ant-Man, but it's also a concern of mine with Yellow Jacket, is the fact that based on some of the Ant-Man poses, it doesn't look like he has an ankle pivot, uh, which is a joint that's super necessary nowadays, especially with a uh, an expensive figure like this. Uh, it should absolutely have an ankle uh, pivot. So I don't know if there's the person taking these pictures kind of isn't great at posing, or if it actually doesn't have an ankle pivot, which would be quite devastating, I have to say. Uh, but let's get on talking about uh, Yellow Jacket himself. Now, Yellow Jacket is a villain that, you know, I think that he, we can all agree he's a pretty standard villain in the movie. However, I love he, the look of him. I think that he just looked great, and I really enjoyed his end fight. And I think that this figure really captures the look of Yellow Jacket quite nicely. As you can see, you have uh, excellent textures going on in the... Uh, in the actual sculpt of the figure, there's obviously that honeycomb effect and all the yellow pieces, which looks really good. And then it has like a border uh, from that honeycomb effect to the black. There's like a black border uh, that does seem to be raised, which is nice. And then very smooth uh, black pieces to kind of give it that kind of leather look or, or you know, uh, whatever it's kind of supposed to be. And a bit of the armored effect on the lower part of the arms. The head sculpt looks really nice, but also the backpack looks really good. I'm just, uh, the, the backpack looks great. I'm just concerned about the articulation on the backpack. From what I've deduced from these pictures, there's absolutely a swivel here and there's absolutely a hinge here, but from these pictures that's the only things that I can tell. Now I have seen it on a on display uh, at a different time where the arms were actually rotated down and therefore there must be some sort of swivel, maybe right here there's a swivel for sure, um, but other than that I'm not quite sure. Like this looks like there could be a joint here and I would hope that there's a joint. I also hope that there's a joint here, you know, on the uh, on the, uh, the the stainers there, so this thing could be pretty uh, pretty decked out as far as articulation goes, or it could be pretty standard. I'm not 100% sure, but I do hope that there's enough articulation to get some really cool poses because he used his stingers, uh you know, quite often in the movie with shooting lasers, and there is even a, a piece of the movie where he does attack Ant-Man by trying to like stab him with his stingers as well. So I really do like the stingers, so I hope that this has the articulation that allows it to uh, to um, fully utilize them, you know. And then as you can see, more images of him. Uh, I really like this look, and obviously they have him in a bit of a, a flying stance, and he does come with a base with a pole that does allow you to put him in a flying stance, which is really nice. Uh, and he does fly, you know, a few times in the movie, which is very cool. And I love it. He's got very slick arms too. I just I like the uh, the uh, the the motion from the fist, how it moves down uh, his his upper arm there. I think that looks quite nice. And I also like in that image the fact that his stingers are pointed to the side. Most of the images they're straightforward, so I do like that quite a bit. As you can see, looking pretty good there. Uh, very nice kind of running, you know, uh, pose. Very cool. I like the head sculpt. The head sculpt does look very good. Um, it would have been really cool if it came with a battle damage head sculpt, like he has in the movie, where, you know, like a piece of the left side of his uh, uh, helmet there is kind of broken. You can kind of see a bit of his face. Uh, they obviously, you know, they've done face sculpts for, like, Captain America before, so just doing, like, a very small part of this guy's face, I think that they could do. So that would have been cool, but not necessary. I'd rather have the clean version of it. There's a nice closer image of the face there. I will be comparing this to the Hot Toys one uh, very, very shortly here. Um, but as you can see, excellent texture even in the black of some areas. You have the great black kind of dot effect. You have smooth black areas, and then you have the honeycomb effect. 
for 90% of the yellow and then there are some small pieces of the yellow like here and on some of the hands that are just a more of a smooth but as you can see it looks very good it looks like the paint on the stainers is quite nice the way that it's silver but it looks like it kind of fades from a very dark charcoal uh, kind of gray to a silver at the end very cool I like it quite a bit very nice I have to say and then here's a nice image comparing the two of them uh, you know, the hardest thing with this is I would love to get Ant-Man um, because King Arts uh, uh, releases their figures in a scale that's 1 and 9 scale, uh, which is pretty unusual. Uh, there, I don't have any Marvel figures in 1 and 9 scale. Uh, you either have 1 and 12 scale um, or uh, or 1 and uh, 6 scale, obviously. And then, you know, I don't know what you consider um, Select. I think that Diamond Select is the closest to this scale that we have, but I still think that they're actually slightly too small to be in this scale too, so it's a shame that we don't have any figures that could kind of go with this, uh, because I love this Yellow Jacket figure. I'm definitely getting the Yellow Jacket figure, there's no doubt about it, uh, but I, I'd love to have an Ant-Man to pose him with, uh, although I'm not going to spend, you know, $150 just to get Ant-Man to specifically only pose him with, because the Ant-Man figure himself, I don't really need. I've got a bunch of Ant-Mans, uh, so, you know, I don't need that one so I would only be getting it to do poses with Yellow Jacket and you know that's a lot of money just to have, have an accompanying piece so I don't think I'm gonna pick up that Ant-Man although it looks very nice and then as far as um accessories go he's relatively basic uh, with accessories Ugh. Uh, he has obviously the figure himself the backpack if you want to consider that an accessory he comes with the base the base looks really cool uh, it says Ant-Man right there and then this top section I guess this is kind of just supposed to resemble his face um, and it kind of looks like wings there I'm not quite sure I would say that the logo on the Ant-Man base actually looks better I would prefer that they did the same type of thing with him but obviously made it say yellow jack instead of Ant-Man I think that would have looked a lot nicer and then he does come with an extended pole that should be articulated and allow you to do flight poses. I know some of their previous Ant -Man or Iron Man figures, uh, they come with flight poles, also come with just smaller poles if you want them just standing. So I, I would uh, assume that he'll come with that as well, although it's not pictured here. And then he comes with several hands. He comes with a pair of fists, a pair of like clenched hands, you know, very kind of angry, and then a pair of just kind of open hands. The open hands, I mean, they're, they're a nice addition, although I can't really think of a pose where I'd prefer those hands over the others so I don't think that they're 100% necessary but it's nice that he comes with a few sets of hands um, giving you a quick look at him uh, compared to the Hot Toys one which is the only other company to make Yellow Jacket. I mean, uh, obviously Hasbro has made very small Yellow Jackets, and uh, Keen Arts in the past, which I do have, they've actually made a, a very small Yellow Jacket statue that, that's just, you know, very tiny, like a, a mini one, uh, which I think is actually going to look really good with this full uh, Yellow Jacket. But other than, like, Funko Pop uh, and Mystery Minis, there aren't any, like, legitimate articulated uh, Yellow Jacket figures. These are the only two companies that have produced one, although Hot Toys obviously canceled theirs uh, it's, it's not coming out you know uh, like most of their Marvel villains that they show and then just never release really pisses me off to be honest out of everything that Hot Toys has ever shown but not released uh, Yellow Jacket is the one that I'm most disappointed about if I could pick one figure that they showed but never released and have them release it it would be Yellow Jacket I have to say so uh, I absolutely love the look of the uh of the Hot Toys one, I think that the Keen Arts one, they're obviously, you know, these companies aren't trying to do the same thing. Uh, uh, Keen Arts shows their articulation, they're more of figures, while uh, Hot Toys are more of just for the, for the looks, uh, while, you know, Keen Arts does focus a bit on function as well. Um, I think that the honeycomb effect is more prominent on the Keen Arts ones, which I, I like, I like that, uh, that uh, that difference in texture, I like that to be quite evident, and uh, it seems like this figure, it's very clear that there are uh, many uh, different pieces of texture. While the Hot Toys one, you kind of have to look a little bit closer. For the most part, the Hot Toys one looks pretty smooth. Um, I think the Hot Toys one head looks a little skinny. Uh, the Keynotes head looks a bit skinny, too. I think that's just kind of the design of the uh, yellow jacket armor. However, I think that the King Arts one is slightly thicker than the Hot Toys one in comparison to its body. Uh, as far as articulation goes with the wings, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it looks like Hot Toys has some decent articulation on the wings, but uh, King Arts might be beating them out. Uh, I'm not sure, and obviously, you know, the Hot Toys one doesn't have visible joints, while the King Arts one does have visible joints, and I know a lot of people don't like that, but me personally, I'm perfectly fine with visible joints on my figures. This has gone on pre-order, um, 
on multiple sites, Big Bad Toy Store is going to be probably the best place to buy it if you are in uh, the United States and want it. Um, they have it on pre-order for $145, and its release is scheduled for the first quarter of 2017, so between January and March. I would assume that May is probably when you're going to get this if you order it through Big Bad Toy Store, because usually it'll be, you know, uh, the uh, release dates are usually too early. Usually they'll come out slightly later than their release date, and then obviously that's just when they come out overseas, and then by the time the U.S. gets it, probably May is when we'll get it, I would, I would assume, I would guess. Um, um, based on the specifics here, it is 1 in eye scale, so this is just slightly over 8.5 inches tall, and it is obviously a die cast figure. All of uh, Keenart's figures are die cast, uh, which is very cool. Uh, I don't need them to be die cast, I have to say. Like some of these figures, I would prefer just to be plastic. Uh, however, I, I'd rather have 1 in eye scale figures die cast rather than 1 in 6 scale figures die cast. Um, I think that the bigger figures, when they're die cast, there's just no point. They feel just too chunky and, and too heavy and it's it's you know you don't almost don't want to pose them and things like that but with smaller figures I'm more okay with them being die cast so I am I'm actually excited that he's die cast I think that's going to be kind of cool and you know he is an armored slightly kind of type of character so it makes a bit of sense for him to be die cast uh, not as much as like an Iron Man armor however it still you know, slightly makes sense that Yellow Jacket would be die cast um, there's no word on it if there's lights on this figure I don't think there is uh, the Big Bad Toys doesn't say anything about lights um, and on Keen Arts' Facebook page all of their information on Yellow Jacket is, is in a different language so I can't read it obviously um, but I don't think this has lights and I'm not even sure if the Ant-Man has lights I don't think Ant-Man has lights actually um, Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man are priced at the same uh, price point and you get more with Yellow Jacket uh, for the fact that he has those big stingers on his back so I think that you're getting a better deal with Yellow Jacket however Ant-Man's more of the iconic figure that I'm sure more people will want so it kind of evens them out I think that 145 is a pretty good price for King Arts. It's the cheapest regular figure I've seen. I mean, uh, uh, their non-Iron Man figures seem to be 145 because that's what Captain America was priced at. The Iron Man figures are between like 190 and 220, and then obviously there's the bigger figures like Igor and Iron Monger. I would love to get Iron Monger, but at 350, I'm not quite sure if I'm willing to pay that. Uh, but Yellow Jacket totally willing to pay. I'm super stoked for this figure, and I'm so happy that at least one company. Uh, at least one company is making Yellow Jacket because I love the look of the character. He had a very cool fight in, in a movie that I do enjoy. So to have a figure representation of him is something that I've wanted for so long and being teased and then having that ripped from my heart from Hot Toys, at least a nice consolation prize is the King Arts one, I have to say. So I hope that King Arts continues to make these... Uh, these villain figures from Marvel that Hot Toys just won't. I would love to get a cross moans from them. Uh, Kaecilius I would love to get too, but again, they, they don't do many face sculpts, so I'm not holding my breath out for Kaecilius, but uh, uh, cross bones I would love to get. So anyway, really happy about this Yellow Jacket figure. It's been on my mind for the last couple of days. It's kind of all I can think about. It. It's the new hot product in my head, I have to say. Um, it's the one that I'm, uh, I'm super excited for. So let me know what you guys think of it, and thanks so much for watching.